We got more clips from OTAs, and today we're going to be looking at the Cleveland Browns and getting a good look at Elijah Moore. He's been lighting it up at OTAs, making big-time catches. But before we look at these clips, you need to click that subscribe button right now. We're going hard in the paint looking at these rookies every single day, from rookie camp to OTKs to mini camp to training camp, on top of your favorite veterans. Seeing what they're doing behind the scenes at these practices. Click that button. Stop missing out on your favorite players. We're looking at Elijah Moore today. Two minutes of clips. Let's let it roll. Let's watch these. We'll go through them a couple times. We'll watch him play and then talk some ball on him. Here we go. Nice snag over the middle. There's Watson. Good timing. Good timing on that. Very smooth feet with Elijah Moore. There was a lot of games where he commanded the 20% target share better last year. He's a guy that's great in the slot that you can move to the outside a bit. And I think him, Jerry Judy, and Amari Cooper, I think that's a good pair. I think he's a great piece to the offense. I think he's great in the slot. Last year at this time, we saw the Browns try to use him in the backfield a little bit, run the ball off the edge as well. And then in the slot, in the outside, they were moving him all over the place. They were putting him in motion a lot. We saw that last year. He's got a good rapport with Deshaun Watson. And he's a good separator. He's got good speed. He's good after the catch. And I would not look at him to be a wide receiver one. I would look to him to be a good complementary option in this passing game with Amari Cooper, with Jerry Judy, and a piece you can move around that can create separation, that can get you yards after the catch. That's what I would look at him as in this offense or in any offense, really. I think that's where he would be at his best. Functionality-wise for this offense, he allows this team to be more dynamic. If you want to talk about the Browns all together in their passing game, I like to see Deshaun Watson healthy. I like to see things click. I think Jerry Judy's going to create a lot of separation on the opposite side of Amari Cooper. And then you got more here moving around the offense. I think David Njoku needs his flowers. He did well last year at the tail end of the season on the back nine. With Flacco, I think he needs more targets. I think he needs more work. I think David Njoku is a player in this offense that could really help everybody else as well. Really help the exterior with winning it in the interior. And he can be a good outlet, good around the goal. We all know this. And then you got Elijah Moore moving around the backfield, moving around to the slot. You can put him to the outside. He's got speed. He can create separation. You can use them on those lower dot targets. Jerry Judy is going to create separation very good. You got Amari Cooper. If injuries hit, you got depth at wide receiver. And behind the trio, you got some good wide receiver prospects there with upside. David Bell's got solid hands. Cedric Tillman's a big wide receiver. He's very physical. We see Jamari Thrash right there. Very sudden off the release, good after the catch. The young rookie has a lot of upside as well. This is a very good depth chart at the wide receiver position. From the top to the bottom, you got good veterans. But at the bottom level, you have these young wide receivers who, if given the opportunity, can really keep you going. Can really help your team keep the ball moving. Just give them some time. To process, you got some opportunity here. But you got three very good wide receivers here. You can mix and match them throughout your system to see what you can do. Elijah Moore for fantasy. That dream is kind of done unless something happens. I think this ball is going to be spread around a little bit more. I think Jerry Judy is going to get his flowers in this offense. I think he's going to be getting some targets. I think he'll hover around a 20% target share, Jerry Judy will, with Amari Cooper having his target share being somewhere around 25%, maybe like 22 to 25 or something like that. Maybe some gains where it dips a little bit because now we can flow it to Judy or more and mix and match it. 
I think David Njoku needs a little bit more targets per game. I think he needs more workload. But this Browns offense may have to rely more on the passing game. They may have to, depending on Nick Chubb. No matter who you bring in. I know you got in Hines. I know you got in Foreman in there as more running back help. But you're not going to replace Nick Chubb. Nobody's going to replace Nick Chubb. That is a top-tier running back prospect. He's a generational talent coming out for the draft who had an ACL injury. The Browns picked up a damn good running back, and they got to use him for years. There's no way you're going to replace him. That being said, you may have to rely more on the passing game, getting Jerry Judy, getting Elijah Moore another offseason in this offense with Watson and company will always be a good thing. I think this passing attack does have some upside. We just got to see it click, but this is a damn good team. Let's talk about this team. This is a team that could win the Super Bowl. This team could do that, and this team's got that upside. It just all got to keep clicking and getting better. That's all it has to do, but for fantasy, Elijah Moore, you want to see where the targets are flowing. I think Jared Judy's going to get around 20% target share. I think he's cheap. I think he's cheap. You can get him if you want to play money ball at wide receiver. On top of that, Amari Cooper's a little bit cheaper as well. This passing offense might be a little bit more potent with a little bit more volume this year due to what we're seeing at the running back position. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. One thing for watching. Catch you on the next video.